Like many of you, I'm a firm believer that wrestling games just don't get any better than what was on offer from AKI on the Nintendo 64. While many games have tried over the years to capture the magic, most fall short. Now, for the series Swan Song in Japan, AKI put together what a lot of people could believe is the best wrestling game ever made in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, Odo Keisho, or Royal Road Succession. Now, is this game really the GOAT, and is it worth tracking down these days to play? We're here to talk about all of this and more in this retro review. Danny from the Famicast here. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Sound up in the comments down below, and we may read it out in our bi-weekly show called the Famicast. Today, though, we're taking a look at Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 on the Nintendo 64 in this retro review. Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 Old Old Keisho, often again translated as Royal Road Succession, was originally released in Japan on January 28, 2000. Now this was just a few months after AKI's WWF WrestleMania 2000 hit the Nintendo 64 in the West, and it would later come to Japan in September 2000. Now for this game, uh, it was relatively well received by Famitsu, it earned a respectable score of 30 out of 40 uh, from the publication, and this was also the second and final exclusive Nintendo 64 wrestling game from AKI behind Virtual Pro Wrestling 64. If you're familiar with AKI or Aki developed wrestling games, you will definitely be right at home with Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. The grapple system is back and I think it still feels great. Now if you're unfamiliar, the main takeaways here are that the control pad is used for movement, uh, the joystick is used for taunts, B is for strikes, and A is for grapples. There's some other nuanced stuff in there as well, but th these are like the basics. Now, grapples offer a bit more nuanced here too. Now, a short tap performs, performs a weak grapple, while a long press performs a strong grapple. Now, while in grapples, moves can be done with the press of A or B in a direction, like up, down, left, or right. And each wrestler has their own moves at, at their disposal, and just like other games in the series, uh, things here, again, feel great. It's one of those kind of games that's really easy to pick up and play, but a little bit difficult to master. The roster here is full of brawlers from a number of different Japanese promotions, and unlike Virtual Pro Wrestling 64, which featured quite a few wrestlers from the WCW roster at the time, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 does not offer anyone from the American promotions, at least nobody that was like wrestling in the WWF at the time, more, more or less. Now things here are based on athletes that were wrestling in Japan at the time. So, so, and also some fighters and a handful of legends. Now, some of the Japanese wrestlers here include Giant Baba, uh, the Great Muta, or Keiji Muto, Tiger Mask, and others. Uh, some familiar former American-based wrestlers are also on the roster too, including Vader, Kamala, Scott Norton, and also some legends like Andre the Giant, uh, Bruiser Brody, Ultimo Dragon, and many others. I mean, simply put, there are a lot of great wrestlers on the roster here. And if you get a new copy of the game, you might notice that some of the names were a, a little bit altered here. Uh, this was done to kind of avoid copyright issues and stuff like that, but these, these can easily be edited. And actually, my copy already had most, if not all, of these changed, so that was kind of nice. Now, in terms of match types, everything here feels pretty familiar. You have singles, tag team, three-way matches, battle royal, and elimination. Now, of course, the main thing missing here compared to its Western counterpart, WrestleMania 2000, is the cage match. I think there's a good reason for that too, as I'm sure many Japanese wrestling fans out there know. These kind of matches just aren't that common in Japanese wrestling. Now, while it would have been cool to have cage matches here in this game, it's at least being mostly true to its source in that respect. Now, perhaps the biggest change made with the game comes with the inclusion of MMA-style fights. Now, these differ quite a bit from the standard wrestling matches. Now, while the button layout for controls and all that stuff, that remains the same at large, the A and B buttons do different things depending on your brawler of choice. Now, you won't be whipping anybody around the ropes or performing any other, like, over-the-top body slams or stuff like that. Now, most of the moves here are ground or strike-based. Basically, your goal here is to make your opponent tap or knock them out. Now, additionally, the grapple strikes that were introduced in WCW NWO Revenge make a return here. They're not in WrestleMania 2000, as far as I know. Uh, mixed matches with wrestlers and fighters is also a possibility here as well, which can kind of keep things interesting. Now, this unique inclusion of this match type really sets this game apart from all the others in the AKI series of games and almost feels like a completely different game inside of the game. Now, of course, this style of play might not be to everyone's liking. I mean, personally, I prefer the standard wrestling myself. However, I mean, you can't deny it. This definitely gives players something cool to do that most wrestling games wouldn't even attempt to include. 
Now, one other small wrinkle added to the game are, has to do with the referees. There are multiple referees that you can actually choose uh, here. Now, while they add an obvious visual difference, each referee actually differs in the speed that they count. Uh, I think it's interesting, but it's a bit of an unnecessary addition. I prefer, you know, just the, the referees that count a little bit faster. But yeah, I mean, it's nice that there are options here. Now, if you just give virtual pro wrestling to a quick glance, you might think that it's just a copy of WrestleMania 2000 on the surface. Now, while both games do share the same engine, virtual pro wrestling 2 does offer a few things that set it apart from its Western counterpart. Now, in terms of modes, the following are on offer here. You have exhibition, league, rally, edit mode, ro royal road to succession, tournament, ranking, and options. You know, some of these are pretty self-explanatory here, and, you know, we, we talked about match types previously, so you know all about that. But some of these need a little bit of explanation. So, in League, you can basically choose up to 12 wrestlers to compete in a round-robin style tournament. Basically, the more you win, the more points you get uh, throughout this League. And the wrestler with the most points after all the matches are finished is the winner. Now, tournament differs from Rally in the sense that matches are single elimination, just like a regular tournament. Now, once the wrestler or team is eliminated, they're, they're done. Pretty straightforward. Now, Rally will let you create your own wrestling event. You decide the matches, rules, who participates, and, and more. It's more or less like the pay-per-view mode from WrestleMania 2000. Now, Royal Road Succession takes players through a year on the pro wrestling circuit in a somewhat similar way to Road to WrestleMania in WrestleMania 2000. You'll play through singles matches, tag matches, tournaments, uh, compete for championships, trophies, uh, and more. You know, I'm not super familiar with Japanese wrestling then or now, but it seems to me that this is about as faithful to the sport as it as it can be. Now, one noticeable difference between this and WrestleMania 2000 is the lack of dialogue between wrestlers. Uh, you know, American wrestling and stuff like that. There's always a lot of like jawing back and forth. Not that that's not a thing in Japan. It just seems like it's not what it's what's focused on here. Uh, you know, regardless, I think this mode will likely be the main draw for most people, as it is a way to get many of the game's unlockable characters and stuff like that. I really had a lot of fun playing through this, and I can see people going back multiple times just for, just for fun. Now, as mentioned previously, a comprehensive creator wrestler mode is included in this game under Edit. Now, not only that, but as with Revenge and Beyond, you're also able to edit all the wrestlers on the roster. Now, there really are a ton of options here, so creating yourself, you know, a friend, some weirdo from the inner recesses of your brain, or even Western wrestlers is a possibility uh, here. Now, I didn't go too crazy with this, but I did spend a few hours creating myself uh, just for this game. Now, if you find yourself having trouble wading through the Japanese, you can, well, you can preview, like, the moves and see, like, a visual of it. It just takes a little bit of time. You know, these days, there are several guides out there that are available to assist you. And yeah, additionally here too, there's also a pretty comprehensive mask editor as well as the ability to create championship belts. Also, just a note on ranking mode, this allows you to climb like a, this ranking ladder against other opponents with up to uh, 16 players. And here you choose a wrestler and like a nickname for yourself and like all this type of stuff. I honestly was having way more fun with uh, Royal Road Succession to uh, play this really that much. But yeah, I mean, th th I think basically what I'm trying to say here is there's a lot of stuff to do in Virtual Pro Wrestling too. Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 doesn't bring too much new to the table visually. Wrestlers still clip through each other and the environment from time to time, but the game does run pretty smoothly. Entrance music is also available for a handful of wrestlers on the roster. However, it's nowhere near as comprehensive as what you would find in other wrestling games at the time in the West. In this game, there are only eight real entrance songs, and then on top of that, there are two theme songs for events, and then two generic tracks. So a little bit underwhelming, but you know, hey, whatever. Now, outside of this, an in-ring announcer introduces each wrestler before the matches. While he does say the name of several characters on the roster, there are many that are left out. Now, when this is the case, a generic call of 1P or 1P, 2P, 3P, 4P wrestler is used. That would have been cool to hear more of the names, but you know, it is what it is. There are a total of five locations in the game. Uh, they're listed in Japanese as Budokan, Dome, AKI Hall, uh, Kyujo or Baseball Stadium, and Dome Road. Now, these are all based on real-life locations. Now, in the previous order, the Nippon Budokan, Tokyo Dome, 
Kodakuen Hall and a version of the Tokyo Dome with an entrance ramp. These aren't as flashy as what you'd expect from American venues outside of and outside of the enhanced Tokyo Dome. All these locations are yeah, pretty quaint comparatively. If you played WrestleMania 2000, things will sound very familiar in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. Then the menu music and menus in general are almost identical. Now the main obvious difference here being Japanese replacing the English, and it makes sense given the shared engine that both games use. Now while I think the presentation here in general is pretty amazing, my lack of familiarity with Japanese wrestlers and Japanese wrestling from the time period make this all kind of a little bit lost on me. I mean, still, I think the attention to detail here is great and something that needs to be experienced if you're a fan of AKI wrestling games. I managed to pick up a boxed version of Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 back in 2012 for super cheap. It was 880 yen while I was visiting some game shops in Tokyo. It was the same day I bought uh, Tetris 64. They this kind of weird bio enhanced version of the game only anyways uh, you know these days it's getting a little bit harder to find virtual wrestling to box even via resellers here online in japan so i mean the box for my copy is a little bit ding dinged up on the bottom uh, but overall it's pretty clean you know it came with all the inserts and manuals here too now there's also you know a registration card for the game there's an information card that comes with all n64 games you can see that here and this little postcard promoting the release of wrestlemania 2000 uh, it basically just gives this general, very generic, like, hey, this is coming out sometime in 2000. Now, one other kind of cool thing about Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 with this physical, all this physical stuff is that the game actually comes with two manuals. One being the general instruction manual, and the other being this booklet containing moves for all the wrestlers included in the game. So that's pretty cool. Now, although this game may be a little bit expensive, especially if you're looking to find a box copy, I think it's worth tracking down to add to your collection. Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 takes the best of what AKI games had and surpassed all previous entries in terms of variety. The MMA style fighting on top of the already solid pro wrestling gameplay gives gamers more to do. Now even with that said, the nostalgia factor might not hit for those that aren't familiar with Japanese wrestling from the time. Regardless, this begs the question, is Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 the best wrestling game ever created? Personally, you know, I think it's very close and objectively, maybe. But for me, it just misses a mark mainly because of this my unfamiliarity with the roster and just Japanese wrestling. I'd probably give the nod to WrestleMania 2000, but again, it's very close. When it boils down to it, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 is super fun and should be something that wrestling fans check out, and if possible, add to your gaming collection. But let's turn things over to you. Is Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 the best wrestling game ever created? If not, what wrestling game do you think deserves that title? Be sure to sign off in the comments be below, we'd love to hear from you. And also be sure to check out our other Nintendo 64 AKI reviews on the channel. Now as always guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you like what you see, please feel free to drop this video a like. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. We've got tons of podcasts, video reviews, looks at cool retro games like this, and a whole lot more. Again, this is Danny from the Famicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.